Now you're cooking with Manitoba Chicken and Karen Armstrong. This video is for all of you dark meat lovers out there. I'm going to show you how to do a boneless chicken leg roast. I'm starting with a bone-in chicken leg, the whole leg. You've got the drumstick, the thigh, and this one has got the back attached. So to start, I'm going to flip it over and I've got this extra piece of skin here. I'm gonna pull it open and just check to see that there's no extra fat that I might wanna re remove. This one's pretty good. There's nothing really to be, uh, to be trimmed here. So let's go to the next step and that is to remove the backbone. And you can see I've got, there's a triangle shaped bone that I can feel with my fingers and I'm going to take my knife and I'm actually gonna slide it under and start to cut away this triangle shaped bone from the meat underneath. And I'm gonna pull it open so you can see, scrape a little bit more and now I'm actually going to cut all the way through like that. So that removes part of the backbone. I'm going to stand it up and cut down to remove the rest of the backbone. I just wanna make sure that I'm not cutting through the bone itself, and which it looks like I've got. All right, I'm just going to, sometimes it helps to actually just break it. There, you can see where it's come loose from the, the bone. And then take your knife and cut through. So that's the backbone removed. Sometimes you'll see a little extra bone right here and just make sure, sometimes it'll come off with the backbone, sometimes it's separate. All right, so that's the backbone. Now I'm gonna start with the drumstick. To do that, I'm gonna pick the drumstick up and I'm going to run my knife right along the end of the drumstick and making sure they've cut all the way through. So if you need to use a little bit of a sawing action, that's all right. I'm gonna take the tip and make sure that all the little connectors are actually cut through because that's what's holding the bone in place. Now, this is the fun part. I'm going to pick up the piece in both hands and I'm actually going to bend it. And to do that, I'm going to, I can hear that the drumstick bone has come out of its socket. Now I'm going to hold the drumstick bone in one hand and I'm actually going to twist this and the drumstick bone comes out just like that. You can trim the little connector pieces here. Now I am ready to work on the thigh bone. There is one other little bone in the drumstick. I can feel it with my finger, a little sharp pointed bone. That's gonna be the last uh, piece that's gonna come off. So now I'm going to feel with my finger where the thigh bone is. So it's running from the head here I can feel it all the way to the joint area. I'm going to take my knife and I'm going to run it along one side of the bone up to the head of the bone. And then I'm going to take my knife on the other side, do the same thing. Now I'm going to take my knife and I'm going to actually go under the bone. So you can see how the knife has gone under and cut all the way up to free up the drumstick bone. Take the blade of my knife and I'm gonna scrape the meat all the way down. And that, you can see the thigh bone has come completely loose, but I still got the end of the drumstick uh, joint in here and I need to get rid of that. So I'm going to use my knife and I'm gonna cut around, free out that joint. And make sure you get through all the connectors. And I can feel, there's that little bone that I was talking about earlier. And let's just scrape that, because if you're really lucky, it's gonna come out right with the rest of the, uh, with the thigh bone. And there we go, scrape that there. That's that little narrow bone, that little pointy one. And then I can just cut through and get rid of there's the thigh bone and that extra little pointy one. So let's see what we end up with. Flip this back over. 
So there you go, there's the drumstick. So it's got a nice little pocket, perfect for stuffing with a bread stuffing or uh, fruit, vegetables, anything that you'd like to use. And then there is a nice flap that we're gonna use for folding over. One thing I like to do is on this piece right here, and I'm just gonna turn this so that you can see. I like to separate this from the skin here so that I can fold this piece of the thigh in and I've got this extra flap of skin to use to cover it. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna fold this over like that. Take the other flap, fold it over as well. And there it is, that is a boneless leg roast. The only thing that I need to do now is tie this. So I'm starting with a piece of string and you want to use a good length of string because there's nothing worse than getting part way through and discovering that you don't have enough string. I'm going to turn this around so that you can see what I'm doing. I like to start at the narrow end and take the string underneath. You notice that I'm also leaving doing this with the flap end up and that's just so that I can make sure that I've got it completely covered by the skin. So you just make a little knot. And then I'm going to run the string underneath. And pull that tight. There. And then underneath again. you want to do this oh, through, at least, I, I like to do four, four times to hold it together. And if you've got it stuffed with uh, a really nice stuffing, you might even want to do the, uh, the, the string a little bit closer. Like so. If you need to tighten it up, you can use the, the end. And then, uh, ah, we've got room for one more. Let's do one final one just to hold everything together. Snug that up. There, and I'm gonna finish off, just tie this. You're not gonna leave the string on when you serve it, so it really doesn't matter if you end up with a great big, huge, long piece of string. You can trim it, or you can just leave it the way it is. Now let's do this one more time, and make sure that this is properly tied so it doesn't come completely undone while it's roasting. So there you go, that is ready to go onto a baking sheet and you pop that in the oven and roast it, it's going to be delicious. And here's the finished boneless chicken leg roast, a way to take an everyday cut and make it extraordinary. For recipes, tips, and how-tos, explore manitobachicken.ca.